The Mingling of the Golden Souls A Mephoxphenidine and Mushrooms Trip Report by The Chemical Kid on Aerowid Published October 15th, 2015 It was a Thursday night and my girlfriend and I, along with two of my mates, decided to go camping on an area of bushland on my farm. We headed down to the bush at about 7 o'clock at night. It was a cool, fresh night with a really bright, star-filled sky. I decided to eat about 1.5 grams of strong pea subiraginosa, but the main thing we were excited about was trying a batch of the new research chemical MXP, methoxyphenidine. We had a gram from a reliable chem distributor. My girlfriend being sort of new to this sort of thing, only doses 50 milligrams, but me being a bit more experienced with dissociatives than her, I started with about 150 milligrams. My other friend who we'll call Jay dosed quite high with MXP to start with and had about the same amount of mushes as me. After he started to trip he got very confused and sort of kept drifting in and out of consciousness, sort of like his mind would leave his body for a while and then come back again every now and then. We had three mattresses laying on the ground around the campfire, so we got him to lie on these and kept an eye on him for the rest of the night. I continued to dip my finger in the bag of MXP and lick some off my finger every half hour or so throughout the night, until about 5 in the morning. I was laying on the mattresses with my girlfriend holding her in my arms. She started talking about how she was really sad she'd never really had a proper family that had been there for her. I started trying to comfort her by talking to her, saying to her that I was there for her now and would protect her and look after her. It was at this point I was starting to get really disconnected from my body. I'd spent most of the night sort of rolling around the edge of the M-hole, bringing myself back to it with a lick of the finger every time it started to wear off. Anyway, I floated up out of my body, but because I was so entangled with my girlfriend, I pulled her soul out of her body and up into the air with me. We were floating around above the campfire and mattress in what felt like each other's arms, but we didn't look human at all. I could see our bodies still on the mattress, but we were clouds of floating golden particles of energy that were radiating goodness and love. The particles lit up and shined really bright whenever they came into contact with particles of each other's soul. We started talking to each other like we had known each other forever, and that this reunion of souls had been long awaited. After we floated back into our bodies, my girlfriend turned to look at me. She saw the worried look on my face and asked what was wrong. I asked her if she had just experienced the same thing, and she said she had. She even described it exactly as I had experienced it with the floating particles and positive energy. She had also seen our bodies below us. I cried after she said this, because it meant that I had a soul. Before this experience I was pretty doubtful that souls exist, and I'm definitely not religious. But after this experience, I'm convinced we do indeed have souls. Not like the spirits you see in movies and that Christians talk about. These souls were energy. They were bright and powerful and had no real form except being a gathering of many small floating particles that knew each other. I'm also convinced that my soul knew my girlfriend's souls from somewhere else very long ago. Who knows, maybe we are even soulmates destined to reunite over and over again through eternity. We'd smoked weed throughout the night, but other than that, my girlfriend had no other drugs except the 50 milligrams of MXP at the start of the night. I can't believe that we both experienced it. It really happened and wasn't just a hallucination. After my tears of happiness at the fact I had a soul stopped, I smoked a cone of DMT and DMT oxide. As soon as I pushed the smoke from my lungs, I could feel all the positive energy in the natural landscape was being pulled towards me. It was like I was something other than human. A being of extreme love, kindness, happiness, and just positivity in general. This experience was life-changing. I felt amazingly good in myself and who I am since this. It's also had a huge impact on my girlfriend and I's relationship. 
We're so much closer and more in love since this happened. We have this amazingly spiritual shared experience that no one could ever possibly know what it was like. I've been trying to research cases of shared out-of-body experience after this happened, but so far I haven't found any. I also had two 200mg tramadol tablets at the beginning of the night. I think MXP is an amazing chemical that definitely needs research into it. We're planning to try and repeat the experience in the future. I think the fact we were lying together so entangled to start with, and the fact that we were having such a discussion about love, is what led me to being able to carry her soul from her body to comfort her. I know most people that read this will probably be like, yeah, as if. But this really happened, and I'm not the sort of person to make stuff up or alter things in my head because I want them to be true. I'm very scientifically minded, highly intelligent, and before this happened, completely didn't believe in souls. <laughs>